Greenly, please. It's her husband. No. No messages. I have a job for you. You need a bigger room, Ryan, for that massive ego of yours. You know that I'm not wrong, Greenlee. That little show you put on yesterday, insisting that you and David are still in love, was that, was that also for him, or was that just for me? That was two days ago, not yesterday. <laughs> okay, so what difference does that make? How often does this happen? Don't try to change the subject, Greenlee. Your memory. Ryan, this isn't the first time that I've seen you make a mistake like that. The doctors are tracking it. I'm fine. No, you're not fine. Look at what this is doing to you. Wanting to take on David is making you sick, and you won't stop and take care of yourself. I came here because I was worried about you, Ryan. I would never forgive myself if you... Just please leave this alone. Please. How long have we known each other? <laughs> I don't know, a few hundred lifetimes? So then you know I'm not just gonna leave this alone. Really. Ryan. I'm not, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna find out what David is doing to you. Even if it kills you. Hi. Hi. I need to ask you something and I need you to tell me the truth. Okay. How's Ryan doing? I mean, how is he really? He says that he's getting better, but he forgets things, and then he, he gets so wound up about everything, and I can't make him stop. I can't. Okay. I'm, I'm just I'm scared. Right. Jake, Brian has no idea what I would do if he... I just don't let him out until he's ready, okay? Yeah, Please. Sure. Okay. Okay. It doesn't get any more real than sticking by somebody who's dying and marrying them with no hope of any future at all. I, mean, I didn't... I didn't even care how much time we had. Yeah, and then suddenly, he got better. And then there was a future. Yeah, thanks to Annie. I gave him her bone marrow and obviously so much more. I know it still hurts. How do you deal with it? JR and Annie sleeping together. Yeah, I mean, I know that you weren't together then, but you have to at least think about it. Oh, yeah. I look at it this way. If we didn't love them so much, it wouldn't be as painful when they... Betray us? No. No, when we feel like they could. That's the trade-off for being in love, I guess. For committing yourself to someone without holding anything back. Is it worth it? I am not unaware that there was an attraction between Annie and JR. Crystal seems to think it's still going on. Well, Crystal is entitled to her opinion. But whatever the JR Annie connection was, it was nothing. Nothing compared to what I have with her and what you have with him. And if I didn't believe that with all of my heart, I wouldn't be marrying her. And if you didn't believe it somewhere deep down, you'd have been long gone by now. I guess the beach is pretty nice this time of year. Yeah. You could probably still get a swim in before the sun sets. Thank you, Scott. Thank you so much. you found out about Palmer's invention. That's right. Who was that? I, I don't have the dates in front of me. So you stole Palmer's notes? And I convinced Scott to go along with me. Yeah. Dragging him, kicking him, screaming, I bet. From the very beginning, Scott did not want to be involved in this. Come on, JR. Who does this sound like, me or Scott? You know what I'm capable of. Yeah, I do. 
What are you doing? I'm calling Scott to make sure that his story matches up with yours. And what do you want to bet? That he breaks down and confesses in, in 30 seconds. Oh, you think you'll cave less than that? No, I think Scott will want to do the right thing. You need to stop lying to save his sorry ass. What do you think? You could just hand me yours, this whole mess would go away? It has to go away. You don't think I know that? If it came out that we bought Corlin vastly undervalued for an invention that Chandler stole, you can kiss our family company goodbye. Okay, so so that means you won't say anything, you won't sell Scott out. As much as I would love to. No. I have to keep this thing from getting out. Getting in the wrong hands, someone who could destroy someone like Caleb Cooney. So, let me hear the real story, Annie. Scott wasn't just spending time with Palmer before he died. He wanted to work with him. And Palmer told him about this new nanotech invention, and nobody else knew about it. So when Uncle Palmer died, Scott just snatched it. Th this was not easy for Scott. It ate at his conscience every single day. I am the one who convinced him to say that it was his idea. Yeah, I can only imagine how you did that. I thought I was doing something that was going to benefit the whole family. Oh, you're so selfless. It's true. Now, you wanted a Chandler with power. And because you couldn't have me, you made Scott a major player. Damn it, JR, you always do this. Anything happens, you make it about us. You always make it about us. 